Okay, so let's look at this question now. In the figure below, O is the center of the circle. Okay, OBE is 50 degrees. Okay, so OBE, this full angle in red is 50 degrees. Okay, C is the midpoint of the chord. Since C is the midpoint, this angle will be 90 degrees. And we have to figure out the angle ADB. A, D, B. We have to figure out this angle over here. Okay. Fine. So let's try to figure out A, D, B. If we can calculate the angle A, O, B, so this angle will be half of angle A, O, B, right? Angle subtend by chord A, B on the circumference will be half of the angle it subtends at the center. Fine. So now let's try to calculate angle A, O, B here. Now, in triangle OEB, in triangle OEB, this is an isosceles triangle, right? Hence, angle OEB will be equal to 50 degrees. This angle here will be equal to 50 degrees, right? Because OE and OB are radius of the circle, radii of the circle. So, this angle in red and this angle in blue will be equal angles. So, now if we consider triangle OEB sum of all the angles should be 180 degrees out of which these two angles are 50 50 100 that means angle BOE will be equal to 180 minus some of these two angles 180 minus 100 is 80 degrees so angle BOE will be 80 degrees this angle will be 80 degrees over here okay so now if this angle is 80 degrees this angle will be half of 80 degrees that is 40 degrees right because the angle subtended by chord eb at the center will be double the angle it subtends on the circumference okay so this angle become this angle becomes 40 degree now if we consider triangle a e uh, a e c and triangle b e c these two triangles are congruent triangles. How are they congruent triangles? Let's see. This side is equal to this side because C is the midpoint. This is the common side and this angle is 90. This angle is also 90. So both of these triangles are right angle triangles who have the two sides as same. This side is same as this side and this is the common side. So both these triangles are congruent triangles. Hence, this angle is equal to 40 degrees. If this angle is 40, this angle is also 40. That means this angle over here will be 10 degrees. This full is 50. 50 may say 40 here. This angle comes out to be 10 degrees. And if this angle is 10 degrees, this angle here will also be equal to 10 degrees. Right? So now if we consider the triangle A, O, B, we know angle AOB will be equal to 180 minus the other two angles which is 160 degrees. AOB comes out to be 160 degrees this angle AOB. Okay. Triangle AOB these two angles are 10 and 10 20. So the third angle will be 180 minus 20 which is 160. So this angle will come out to be half of 160 which is 80 degrees. Hence, the answer to this question is option C, 80 degrees. Okay, so that's it for this question. Thank you.